I'm going to shoot the uh, intro to this video, or the, the opening talking of this video, but I've already done the work that I've already shot. I was expecting this to be a lot more difficult than it was, but I'm pretty sure I'm just an idiot. And I forgot to hook stuff up when I replaced the uh, lifters and rockers on this front bank when one of the uh, rockers failed, which again is a pretty pretty common thing, I guess, on these uh, Pentastar engines. So I already did that, but when I did that, I forgot to hook back up the purge solenoid to the air intake. Um, and I have a feeling that's why we kept getting an engine light and strangely why the engine light came on so soon after doing the work. Um, but Katie says this thing usually takes a day, day and a half for the engine light to come back on after I've cleared the codes with, with, with the scan tool. So we'll see. If it doesn't come back on, this will be the intro to that video. Or, yeah, this will be the intro to the video that you're watching. If it does come back on, then we'll be doing a video on replacing the purge solenoid on this thing, which is super easy. It's literally right underneath this cover, and this cover just pops off, so... Yeah, stick around to watch me find out what I already know. Well, hey everyone, i um, doing a video here on my wife's Cherokee. Um, we got an engine light the other day and, uh, let's see. So, yep, engine light's on. So, I am going to run the code on it. I ran it before, I want to double check to make sure it didn't change. Plug in. Oh. Okay. Scanning in progress. So. This is the same code I keep getting, this 1441 evaporative emission system, incorrect purge flow. Um, so what I have found out, I do believe, is that there is a purge solenoid on the engine. And there was a chance when I was in there doing the, uh, there was a chance when I was in there doing the rockers and lifters, Uh, the rockers and lifters that I didn't plug it back in because yeah, I had to take off the airbox system and I was back in that area and there's a chance that either I didn't plug it in all the way I want to double check it and possibly if that's not the case I'm going to buy a new purge solenoid and hopefully get, get rid of this code so go up front here and we'll take a look Somewhere underneath the back of this thing, if I take off this box, I think, is the purge solenoid. And of course it's going to start to rain a lot. Okay, we're going to pack this up for a second while the rain comes, and then um, we'll get back to it.
Well, we're back. Uh, the rain has stopped. The sun is kind of back out again. Um, and if the internet is to be believed, somewhere right back there is the purge solenoid for the EVAP system. Let's see if I can see it. This is a 2015 Jeep Cherokee. I would assume I'm trying to find, oh my gosh, it is right here on this vehicle. No, it can't be. Yes, this is it. And it is plugged in. Well, that wasn't difficult at all. According to the videos I saw, it was way down behind this thing. And that's, that's not the, this isn't plugged in. That could be it all this whole time. Wow, well, if that's the case, I'm an idiot because I took that off and didn't put it back on. Wow, okay. We're gonna find out in a second. So there's a good possibility that I forgot to plug this hose back in. It's just been sitting up here, not purging, because it wasn't hooked into there either. And I did that when I had the front valve cover off, doing whatever. Well, um, shot that video a week ago, week and a half ago, and I thought I would update you on if the engine light came back on and I am going to be 99.999% sure that that was definitely the problem not having that hose hooked up to the air intake because um, since that video my wife and I have are now on vacation and um, we've driven a thousand miles from home the engine light has not come back on so I'm assuming that solved the problem so if you're going to take things apart the moral of the story is put them back together correctly and it solves you more problems later. Thanks a lot for watching this video. Have a great week and we'll see you hopefully next Sunday.